show. What up? Royalty is in the building, man. Royalty is in the building and he has some things to say. Wow. So we're going to get to it. But uh, we got my man Dame. Dame had entered the building. Dame Addy. <laughs> Shout out to Dame Addy and, 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 and came through, you know. Shout out to Big Dame. Big Dame, man. You know, it, it's it's an open. That's what makes the Bake Show so live, too. And I think people like us. It's an open forum. I'm cool. You can just come and, you know, we can shop and we can just do what we're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Now. Earlier today, you slipped me, uh, I got some footage. I mean, not footage, I got some information. The 95-96 All-City Team. The 95-96 All-City Team. And I'm looking at this list and I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow, man. I'm like, wow. Wow. And we're going to talk again about getting cats in and, 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 and these cats. I just want to let y'all know that we officially have, I think, 50. I'm going to post it later on. But we got 50. We got 50 good ones. And he just gave me some cats in the 80s, a couple of cats in the 80s that his brother, um, when he used to go see his brother, who, who he'd seen. And we talked about a name. And we're going to get off into it right now. Darshan Dunaway. Top 100. All time. And tell the story about Darshan. Um, the story about Darshan. That, that's good. That's good here. That's good here. That uh, my brother um, mentioned to me about. Excuse me. Go ahead, man. Look. Um, he said he'd seen Darshan at Mason Park. They were playing. They had lost my brother. It was going into his senior year, and they had lost guards. So he said Darshan was out there killing them, giving them the business, jump shot, going by cats. And he said, man, what grade you going to? He said, you know, what high school? He said, I don't really know. He said, man, you're going to come to East with me, man. We're going to take you in to see Coach Smith. Took him in to see Coach Smith. They played open gym. Nothing else to say. He started when he was a freshman, played the whole four years. Now, I think so. Now, let me tell you something, because we just had, <clears throat> and this is why some stories get, get passed down, and you got to take them for what it really, really is. You got to take them for what it really, really is, man, because that is Mayweather said he, in the era in which you wasn't starting four, four straight years mm -hmm. in that era, and he said it was ultra tough, and, and again, you, you just said that he started four straight, what? Is, so you seen Darshan play? I seen Darshan play. I was nine years old. He played with my brother uh, as a freshman, the point guard. Ran the show. Ran the show. What was the, the most show. memorable game you see? Because Coach Gill said quadruple double. He's seen a quadruple double. And that is Mayweather said triple double. He can do it all. He was a point guard. He had handles. He could drive it. He could shoot the pull up, pass it, rebound, tough. And you, so you said, and, and off the air, you said you patterned, you liked him. You, you patterned your game. I wanted to play. I, that's the reason that I wanted to go to high school and play as a freshman was because of him. Because he, he was the first person I seen do it. Man, that, that, that's crazy, man. That Not only crazy, that is awesome. I, I didn't know that. I, I really, really didn't know it, man. Um, you also said some things about the Tarvers and going to St. V. Mm -hmm. And you said to me, Tell the people why you didn't choose St. V and tell them what was going on and who you was going to play with. Um, coming out of middle school, we were very good coming out of Roswell, Kent. Uh, we had won the city championship two years in a row. Uh, we were kind of like a big deal then. I mean, everybody used to come watch us play. Um, we were in the paper uh, as, as middle schoolers and they were, you know, hearing about us and coming to see us. And uh, we won the city championship two years in a row, maybe – we went 20-something, 30-something in two in two years at Roswell Camp. Um, so St. V was very interested in me. Um, I ended up not going there. I went, visit, had my schedule, ready to go to school. And I just, the couple of days, I just said, man, I, it wouldn't be right. I got to go to Garfield and, and, and try to help build that program 
to another level with Ashburn and all the great players that was there, uh, Curtis Williams, Tony Williams. I wanted to go play with those guys. So Staying home, kids. Just staying home, man. Staying home. You ain't got to chase that, that, that legacy, man, that, that LeBron ghost. That's what a lot of our kids is getting the problem, getting getting it twisted right now. They running the same V and no knock on same V, no knock on them. I got some brothers that's going that got some got a big deal to say about that. Yes, Coach Gill, see, and uh, and we're gonna talk about it. And like we say here on the Bake Show, speak on it, cause uh, I don't think people be actually, cause you been comrade ain't here. Um, we have Sean Jones, who was amongst killers, was first team all, all city, Definitely. um, amongst killers. And we don't try to air people out at the bank show. Well, at least they don't, at least the people that come to the show, they don't try. But seeing that I love the Swiss, I love Swiss cheese. <laughs> you know what I mean? Seeing it, <laughs> it ain't designed for that. <laughs> See, that's what Aaron taught me, man. Aaron taught me talk, how to talk trash. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Deuce, <laughs> one of the best trash talkers of all time. He taught me that. <laughs> but he could back it up. Yes, he taught me that, man. I, we, Me and D'Angelo, man, we say we pattern our game. And no knock on Joe Board. Joe Board's a great player. Joe Board was a great player. Great player. I love Pope. Quick, cool as, quick as a cat. Quick as a cat. Oh, yeah. And... A lot of people in that time period, and I'm gonna get back to this because we ain't gonna let you, I ain't gonna you ain't gonna cheat me out of this. A lot of y'all cats that's talking, cause I got it. I got it, man. I got it. Um, a lot of cats, man. We say, man, uh, in that era, just with a point, me being a student of the game and me knowing the game, and I love basketball, and I've just been studying it forever. Joe Board was cool. He was lightning. Joe Board was was lightning, man. When the, when you talk crossovers, you got to talk poom. Definitely, you got to talk poom. So uh, I agree. And don't call him that. Call him by his name. Yeah. You don't know him like that. But the world gonna know, man. But it you have to make. It's almost you have to make a choice. It's either those was the greats. It's either was Joe Board or was Aaron. But I saw what Aaron was doing. And I just was like, wow, like, like D'Angelo would say, like, I did that too. And Hampton can tell you, I would watch tape. I would watch tape of the Dave Millers, uh, uh, Rudy Robinson. I watched them cats, man. I watched you do things. So, no knock on them, but he brought me the 19, no, not actually brought he shot it to me because he got footage. And this is why it's so, uh, 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 this is why it's so important. KPZ, KPZ, yes, yes, yes. Thanks for tuning in. This is why it's so important, man, to uh, this show. Because you may not think it matters, but you know why it matters? Because the cast that I looked up to, the cast that they looked up to, they still got footage, and they ain't relinquishing it. They still, he ain't bring nothing in here. He just, no, I shot it to you, but I ain't going to bring because it's theirs. It's, it's, it's theirs. They earned it and they worked for it. But what I have here is the 95, 96, which is your senior year? Yes, sir. All city team. Sean, I love this part of the show. I really, really love this part of the show because remember in 8 Mile when, um, uh, he was like, I am white. I do live in a trailer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what can you say about me? Remember when he said that? Man, listen. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't win. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of like a late bloomer. I didn't, you know, whatever the situation was, I'm not gonna knock on that, man. I, I, hey, and my homies, they tell me. I ain't Lord, never, I, you ain't never beat me. D'Angelo will tell you. Well, tell him I said, what's up, baby? You would never beat what's me. What's good, family? You would, you never you beat me ever. Walker. Yeah, he what's right up? here. You what's see up, him? man? Uh, uh, Much love. D Dustin Scott. I never lost a kid more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and what, Sean, what do I do? I shut up. Yeah. I eat the humble pie. I eat it and I take it. So uh, it's time to humble some cats out. It's time to humble these cats out, man. So, do your name really need to be mentioned in the top 100? Mentionable. 
Now, maybe you can backdoor it. We're going to get to it. I'm sorry. You know. First team all city, 95-96. Dave Miller, Dolan Robinson, Brandon, Robin, uh, Brandon Wallace, Greg Lewis, Chris Pullen, James Johnson, Aaron Ashburn, Daryl Meadows, Terrence Parker. Now, I'm about to name one name real quick that will show you what type of era we played in for you younglings out there. Because, like I said, I'm going to be at the games or whatever. Naya Jones made second team all city. He was 6'10". He was the biggest in the league, wasn't he? Yes, sir. He made second team, bro. That's how tough it was. That's how tough it was. Like that's the measuring stick right now. So you cast that talking about your errors and everything. Come on, man. It's only a couple of y'all, and I love you to death. It's only a couple of y'all that can play in our area. It's only a couple of y'all. Second team: Julian Logan, Lathian, Naya Jones, uh, 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 Anthony. Dang, I can't mm -hmm. even. I scribbled it real, real. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll get back to you because you, 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 you Jackson, Anthony Jackson. Is it? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. We, we get back to it. Uh, Victor Cox, Jamon Hall, and that was as a. Yeah, they were both sophomores. They was both sophomores, second team, and Bob Donahue. Big Charles to Bob. Best one of the best lefty three point shooters, spot up shooters. Easy. Can shoot it. And I love you, Bob, but you know who you owe that to. <laughs> You know who you owe your, your high school career to? Aaron Ashburn, damn it. If it ain't what, and I'm going to say it, and I love you. Bob, Bobby D, you know I love you to death, man. Yeah. I see you at Ellet, you know what I'm saying, with your kid and everything. We chop it. We have a good time. We have a good time. But come on, man. Hey, Deuce did, Deuce did that for you. Deuce did that for you like he did a lot, lot for others. Like he did a lot for others. Uh... <clears throat> I'm mentioning it was some cats. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, technical difficulties. And uh, since this is sports, beer and sports go together. Especially on a Saturday. On a Saturday. On a Saturday. So uh, go ahead, man. We on. Because this, this was, it's, it's all good, man. Top 100. Oh, salute to oh. everyone. Top 100. Yeah. Salute. Salute. Yeah. But this is where it gets kind of uh, crazy at, right here. I don't know, mention my homeboy, Ron T. He going he gonna to come to the show uh, whenever he get a chance. He was only a junior, junior that year. year. Daryl Cox was a junior. But there's one name out here that when we first started, and he didn't say nothing. And I think it's because he... Uh, I don't know. I think because he, he actually knew. No, not him. Not him. But you know, you you had a cup his name was in a couple of stats. Courtney Dandridge. Courtney Dandridge. And and this was my thing. And this was my thing on him. I never, because Courtney, I love Courtney. Courtney is my brother. I never said. I never said ah, body work. I said it all depends on what Courtney was coming to play. Because if Courtney wanted to play, Courtney could have been probably oh player of the year that year was Aaron Nasburn. Now I don't think that you know because the type of command Aaron had on the city, I don't know if he would have had player of the year that year. But if Courtney played how Courtney a uh, Courtney Dangers could play six 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 five lefty. I mean, there's no reason why he should be unremitting. Courtney had a game that sure should have been like, okay. kind of reminds you of Adrian Crawford. Yes. More athletic than Adrian. But more athletic than Adrian. I agree. So, and, and that was the thing. And that, that really wasn't so much for, uh, 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 that really wasn't so much for Courtney. That was, that was for his uh, flag wavers. The other cast is waving his flag. Courtney played all the time, though. 
He played all the time, and he played in a hell of an era. Yeah, he played in a great, a lot of good players. And uh, he played, I know he played all three. I know he transferred a couple times, but he played every year. College career. Let's speak, let's talk college career. Your college career. What? So after after high school, mm -hmm. what, 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 then what was it? I ended up going to um, Tennessee, played, at, played down there, um, ended up getting hurt. So that kind of put a setback on the on the career. The, the college career didn't get a chance to be like it should have been. Right. Because, you know, as, as a young youngster, when you get hurt at that age, and it, 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 it kind of mentally it does something to you. Right. Because you got you to gotta try to fight your way back. And it didn't really get to be like it, it should have been. Right. So after that, you know, you pretty much end up coming back home. And and you, you you know you had your first kid you gotta go go gotta go hit the grind that's it so, that's but, it um, yeah uh, just didn't what would it it didn't turn out like how I wanted it to. I I got a, I got a question because uh, maybe you played against him maybe you didn't because I seen him I seen him last night okay Brian Roberts Jr. I mean senior senior the dad. Brian Roberts oh um, man Brian Brian's one of the best uh, guard defenders <laughs> speak on it I just um, said it. Yeah, they would they would put him on, on anybody. The, on anybody. That's who they he shut down. Uh, I seen him yeah. shut down a lot of guys. He um, Brian could, but Brian was a great athlete. People don't know about Brian. Brian played football, basketball, and baseball. And, baseball. and he actually got the scholarship to go and play he baseball at the University at, at of Akron. Akron. He stayed home. He was a, Brian's one of the best athletes and one of the best people. That I've ever met him. Oh man, I love him. I love him. I I, I love his, his son. B Rob, B big shout out to B Rob. Uh, uh, and his son, he's playing really well for Copley. They lost play. last night to Barbara. Yeah, but his son is uh, great. Yeah, player. son, great player. Yeah. Um, kind of wish that he was six foot. Right, right. If he's six foot, he the the, the world is his. Yeah, but B Rob, uh, he can hold his own. He 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 can defend you. Um, I remember that they they you know me coming. Right in as a sophomore, and B Rob's a year older than me as a junior, and they always put B Rob on me. We always match up. Right. Yeah, but I, like like I say, I'm going at him, and, and you know, and whatever happens, Man, happens. Listen, but he, just, I, but he was a great defender, great player, great three way sport guy, uh, city champion. Nothing, nothing else to say about him. Man, this, I mean, what more can you say when you when when you when you won? As what more can you did. say when you want? Exactly. Now, I, I, I want to say this. This is what I want to say also. Uh, because some people out there, and I really don't care, but since this is the bank show, and this is one of the, 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 the aspects and the, the great parts of the bank show, the rawness of it, because this is what I'm talking The gritty city, man. This is gritty, the gritty city, gritty man. City, man. And if you follow, follow me on Twitter... Bank, the Bank Show 330. That's what I say, man. The gritty city. Because you got to. This is a very, very special selected group of people. Now, I'm not even going to say basketball. A group of people, man. And 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 I'm going to. They need to know. It's more than here than LeBron James. Love and death. Shout out to LeBron. Again. Listen. So getting back to it. Um, I said. Cause they and we're gonna bring another name up because he made second team and that's my brother. Love him to death. Love him to death. He wanted to come and argue his case, and I'm gonna let him come argue his case. Cause he got some type of credential. They say, I said, they bring up this name. I'm like, you know what? That's cool. But how can you argue? How can y'all not bring up the most probably the best defender of that time? Brian, Brian Robert, I said that that's why Tony didn't have to guard. Right. The people he had to guard. He didn't have to guard. He didn't Tony have to guard Williams them. Tony Asher. Williams or Andy Asher because they were sicking yeah. Brian Roberts on them. Right. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? I mean, go back and check the tape. Now. Great, great athlete. Great athlete. You can't take nothing away from him. Another great name. Because they tried to say, in a nutshell, subliminally. And I know they was talking from their heart because we love him to death. We love him to death. Lathian Brown. Jake. Animal. I mean that's his nickname. Yeah. We animal. Were animal. So animal. Put a stat up. Animal. Play animal. Play. Animals I game. <laughs> it's kind of like Curtis's game. Right. Curtis Williams. <laughs> Nothing but heart and determination and get you get you twenty and ten every time they step out there. And well, I played against Lathy and then he was I was privileged for him to play with me, also with Doyle on on uh, our AAU team that Miss, Mrs. Ashburn rest in peace to her. Rest easy. Does she does she put together for? 
Aaron and his brother Joe. Yeah. Uh, and we all, she, she was able to get the best players in the city. And big shout outs to Deuce for still keeping his mom legacy alive with his camps and clinics. Uh, but, um, and I got to play with those guys, Animal and and Dolan and David Miller. They were, we all, we all got to play together. So that, that, that's, that's great, great stuff, man. Great memories and, just this is what it is, man. Ball. It make you get warm. I mean, no Brian Williams. It make you get warm and fuzzy. When you think about this stuff, man. Like I said, no Brian Williams. But when I think about it, man, and, and I think about the privilege, and I, I wish I could be Hot City Series. I wish I could be, bro. Cats would come and watch my game, and because the coach that we had, we was in a system, and he had his favorites. He wouldn't let me shoot. They wouldn't even come back to the game. Mike Eli came to the game one time and said, I'm not coming back unless you shoot. But I'm like, we in a system. Right. And then I was, I was so naive. I'm like, yeah, we used to sell out the Kim Moore. It wasn't to see us. <laughs> it was to see these cats, man, because we, we used to come out like the Bulls. Sure that's the only that's the only legacy we got in that era. We used to come out like the boys. We couldn't wait to come over there and play. <laughs> Speak on it. Couldn't wait to come over there and play. Man, look. I remember seeing you the first time, and I said, "Man, this dude just you can't let him shoot. You can't let him shoot, man. I mean, I watched them, and I think Hampton was there with me." Because you were so hyped. And I want to say Hampton was there with me and we went up there. You were so hyped that how you was clapping. It was crazy. You was clapping so hard. Your fingers looked like he was wrapping around. <laughs> his fingers looked like he was wrapping around. He was like, he was hyped. It's the sectional. We had Copley. They had Copley. And they shot so good during the halftime. They changed the nets. I only seen that twice in my life. Tony Bartrip and him shooting the ball. Because, you know, the nets get so warped. That's why sometimes you get them. That's why, and that could be a part of history, and I got to check on it. That's why the Nets is so clothy like they like they is now. Yeah, because then they had those long They nets. had the long yeah, Nets. They had the long Nets. Right? Ron Baker knows his history. Yeah. <laughs> Back then they had the long Nets, bro. Long so now the Nets is even shorter, and this is what Kobe Bryant talks about. When you, when the. Uh, you want to hear, you, when you, when you, to know that you're a, you know, a, a Great shooter or a good shooter. Can I do? Can I do the noise? Can I do the noise? Oh no, go ahead. Cause I, I mean, I'm not a great shooter. I'm not a great shooter, but I, I just want to. That's what it is. Every time, every time you shoot a free throw or a jump shot, you want it all in that. That's what you want. That's what you want. And and when you work up, and when you know, for you kids out there, just continuing to get better, continue just to to work on your fundamentals, free throws. Your God already blessed you with hops, but work on your free throws, your, your fundamentals, you're using the square and, and things like that. A pull-up jump shot. Develop all that in your, in your arsenal. Man, believe it or not, yeah. that's what when I'm reffing. Let me tell you something. Let me share a little insight with you guys. When I pull cats over to me during the free throw, I tell them what they can do to get better. And if you ever see me referee a game, you always, you will always see, y'all don't know what I'm saying. Sean, how many times do you see that? And I'm explaining, I'm explaining to him, man, look, you got to be straight up and down vertical. He can never call that. And if he do call it, now your coach has an argument. Now he can lean a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing that you get at my, my, my camps, uh, my service, Getting Better Basketball Academy, because not only am I going to teach you the right way and work you out, I'm going to teach you the rules so you will know. So you will know. And that's the thing, man. I, man, use that square. That's why that square is up there. That's right. Fundamentals. That boy, you got to use it. Got to use it. Use and it. and use it. that's the coach talking. And fast forwarding, bringing in the coaching. Uh, you went back home. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you coached at Garfield. How was that experience? Awesome. Man. Every, you know, is this, you know, so much tradition there, basketball and football, man. We have a. And just to be back there before they closed it, those years brought back a lot of memories coming out and those Tuesday, Friday night games with the popcorn and being on that sideline. And, but not only that, just developing kids. Yeah. And I see kids that I've coached and they're all doing well. Right. That's the positive thing that you get. They either work in a job 
or they they went to college and and owned it the next day or their family. I seen a player that I coached on the freshman team yesterday. Got his family. He's married. He's working. That's what's I up, mean, man. It's, it, that, that's that, what's that makes about. you proud. Yeah. And, you know, giving back. It's about yeah. it's giving back. That's and what I, I'm about, I gave man. back to, to, to him for hey, about hey, eight hey. years. And, and it was, it's a blessing. Hey, I'm not doing it no longer because I'm bringing my son up. He's he's playing ball right now. Uh, big shout out to the Akron Wildcats AAU. Uh, okay. Little, little T. Park Jr., man. He's playing football and basketball. So okay. Just trying to groom him. And, right. and send him in the right direction. Right. So that's what it's about. But to all you, you out there, man, that, you know, this coaching, keep doing what you're doing. It's very positive. I seen McNeil on the show. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's coaching at hey, Bento. And, uh, hey, shout out to Joey Park. I coach Joey Park. Shout out to the young cast at Joey Park. Yo. Shout out to Joey Park. Park. Shout definitely, out to Joey Park. Definitely. But, uh, McNeil, you keep doing what you're doing, man. You're do, doing well with it, man. And, yeah, another good player could, could, could play. Could play. Could play. Could play. The thing about uh and and I I got a love hate relationship with that because I know what type of guy he is and I wanted him. And no knock on Matt Kirsten because Matt hey, Kirsten. Shout out to Matt coaching. The, <clears throat> hey, good win, baby. I like that. Bring that program they back. They just beat East and Ellen. And they beat East and Ellen. Uh, the the crazy part about it is me and Matt Kirsten we actually do basketball. Um, do we actually? Umpire high school baseball together. Um, yes, 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 yes. He, uh, Matt Carson, a, a, a good guy, good guy. And um, so, uh, uh, again with McNeil, it was bittersweet because it is bittersweet because he's a Kenmore product, and he left to go to ten forty. How can you do that? But you know what? Like I said, the, that's the first thing I said because that's I was talking. Gotta with go my, where the money's at. Right, right. Because at first I, I was speaking with my heart, but after you speak with your heart, you got to speak with realism. And I said, money, man, I love what y'all are doing up there, man. That's a great fit up there for him, and they gonna change the culture. Matt Fletch, the six eight giant, yeah. is so funny. Big shout out to Big Matt, man. Man, it's so funny big watching. Him. Man, he he be leaning over them kids like. The, I mean, what can you say to a? What can you say to somebody 6'8", 260? <laughs> Them kids going to stay in line. He lean over you like this and wave that big finger hand. <laughs> Shout out to Matt Fletch, man. Shout out to Matt Fletch. But, yeah, you was coaching. And the first thing when I said, because I walked in the building, I said, you coaching? He said, yeah, man, I'm up here coaching. I said, do they know about you? <laughs> that's the first thing I got to, because I think that's the first line of communication. You got to know about somebody. You got to know because the kids, they not going to respect you. If they know, why you think the other, these street homies get respect? Because they know, because it's so much street stuff that's embedded in them. They know about uh, Oswan. Oswan got all the bricks. They're going to respect Oswan. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing hooping. If they know that you a killer, I'm going to be a little bit more receptive. And the thing about that is they, you know, they, they find out and then... You know, you earn, humble pie. You, you yeah, you you earn their respect because I was the type. I was you know still a little younger, so I used to go out there and, and shoot out with them. Right. And so once you once you shoot out with them and they see what you can do and you play with them, you automatically they listen to you then because you've earned their respect. Man, funny story. Uh, D. Lou, D. Lou, um, went to East High School. Was one of the best. Um, up there, uh, you know, he's over there actually coaching at Ellen now. D. Lou, Phil Pot, and all them cats. Me and Chad Hazard, we was up there coaching right, for a second. To, right to the po to the politics happen, and um, we used to run them cats. We used to run with them cats, and they respected like now they looking like okay, y'all just ain't talking. Y'all know what y'all talking about. So I know. So and that's how it goes. Because if when they see you can get down. They they re, they respect you more, and they're gonna they're gonna listen to what you got to say. Yeah. Then you can coach them, coach them up the way you want to coach them up. We line them up still, believe it or not. We just had the boys lined up, Sean, did we? It was me, Daryl Massey, uh, Tommy D. Collins, and, and and Sean Jones, and who was our fifth? I think we just grabbed somebody. Oh, it was Bubba. Bubba. No, no, but it yeah, was it Bubba. Bubba yeah, Bubba was. I think, I think Bubba came late. Yeah. Right. Cause I had to move him off the two, and that's very Something that's like very that. important too. Cause I I remember when I was in high school playing, all the old timers, all the big name old timers would come back, would come back. Uh, you know, Curtis Williams, he came back and coach, he played, and his son and, is nice. I like his uh, son. Drew Williams, there. Yeah, Drew plays for Garfield. He's he's playing well right now. Yeah, uh, they're winning. They're they're, they're on a couple game winning streak. They're right. starting to get a rhythm. So right. big shout outs to them. 
all the guys came back, like Danny Williams, uh, Doug Mine, and all those guys came back. Uh, Shelton, they all came back and helped us out and developed our game. Gave us that competitive edge that we, because the city series is tough. I don't think we ever could have done that without having that competitive edge with those older guys. Eric Bryant, all those guys always came back to the school to show their support and work us out and, and get us better. And you know what? I had to go on the show and, um, yeah, yeah, we, we talked about him, coach. We talked about him, no, and it's no, official. No he in he in the middle. He he's in there. He's in there. Um, and I had a little. I, I don't want to say rant, but I had to let people know what the concept was about the show. And I'm and I'm speaking for a lot of my referee buddies. We are tired of refing <laughs> the city <laughs> and how it is. Um, we're just tired of it. We're just tired of it, and I'm tired of hearing. Uh, and I'm not gonna say. This part, even though we're transparent, I'm tired of going in certain locker rooms when certain officials is reffing the games and they laughing at our kids. <laughs> I've had enough of it, especially when I know what what the problem is and what's going on. Because the problem really, really ain't the fact that they not playing basketball. The problem is they playing football. <laughs> And that really ain't no problem, but you got to find balance. And that's why some cats, you see the some cats, you know, the right. cats tweening over. Right. So uh, why did you play football? Or that never intrigued you? Oh, football. Going to actually, Garfield. Going to Garfield. Actually, people don't know, but a lot of people don't know. Football is really my first love. What happened is I played a little bit when I was younger, played for North. Uh, North Vikings. Then I moved with my dad at a young age, and we start we started to play at South. And um, I just I, I I don't know. I just kind of shied away from. I, I I love football. It's my first love. But when I played basketball, it was just something about it, man. It was just the 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 high and the thrill you got. And I just I just focused my game with just with just hoop, man. I just wanted right. to just do I was all hoop. So I, after that I just after after the South days, um, you know, I played with Elmer and all those great guys. They they play. And the same thing with Elmer. People don't know Elmer was a hell of a quarterback. I believe it. I mean he was a hell of a he was a hell of a quarterback, but we all just stuck Tony Bautra, hell of a right receiver. They they they, they just don't know. All those all of us Came up playing for Cameron Mack. He played running back for East. That is Peewee. great, man. Yeah, all those guys play. But we just, everybody just started sticking to who. And and that's what made the 90s from our era, from that 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 90 to to, to to 2000, it was great basketball in the city. I Even when I graduated and came back to Akron, I always would go to a city game. I got to see Doyle and Robinson, Joe Ashburn, those guys. After yeah, after me, you know, right um, uh, Norwood, <laughs> unstoppable. The coin. We call him no, the coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah unstoppable. I seen him throw it off the glass right to himself down to jar against LeBron. Okay. Wow. We want. I mean, wow. Just just got so the Tarver twins. I mean, yeah. this, you can go on and on, man. It's, the city, man, has put out a lot of good players. Man, let me um, cause I want to, cause when you say it's just an honor for me to, to even even be mentioned with all these great guys. His own is list. So let me tell you, um, because when you said South High School, I mean when you said South, South. I think South Rangers. I think of um, one of my older brothers, my big brothers, Tony Thornton, who coaches over there at Bookto. Uh, best best Pee Wee back ever. <laughs> Man, they 40, call 40 touchdowns in, in one year is varsity year. <laughs> Speak on it. Period. School they called him Touchdown Tony Thornton. Touchdown Tony T D. 40 and played for my dad for South, state champion. He was a state champion in, 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 in middle school for South. Man, 40 listen. touchdowns in one, one season, one of the, one the best of all times. Easy. Period. Period. And Easy. when I talk about him, because and, and he coaches over there at um, Bookton Middle School. He got a brother, a close friend. And a lot of cats don't know this. A lot of cats don't know this. Uh, and I'm going to say his name, and I want you to, in comparison, because I got a chance to see him. Okay. Jesse Dixon. Oh, Jesse he played with me at Garfield. Three-point specialist, sharp shooter. We won the city championship 93-94 a year. 
big shout out to JD, wherever you at. I think he's in Alabama. Can shoot it from anywhere. I want to say our, our class was so deep with so many great shooters and Hey, it, it, we, we, had hey, a, we, had a, we had a loaded team. I, I killed him. We, I killed unfair. him with that name. I killed him with that name, didn't I? Jess Dix was was a BC. Man, listen. Tion Wilson. He could he could dunk. He could touch his shoe and dunk the ball with off vertical and touch his shoe and dunk the ball. City champions, 93-94, Curtis Williams. Nine, lead, leading scorer two years in a row. I mean For uh, Garfield. For Garfield, man. Right. G field man in the house, man. In the house, and I, I, that's what I'm saying because it kept Rams home. forever, man. You, you, but you buyers, you just got the West Side cast, <laughs> man. Listen, come on, or I'm gonna come to you, Jesse Dixon. The first time I had a chance to see him was uh uh. the Urban League, the old Urban League. They used to have a midnight uh, a church league. There. Church league. I played for Arlington Church of God with Brian Sojourner, Sekou Myrick, yeah, Sekou. Uh, uh, T-Bug, and all that. I saw Jesse, and I couldn't believe it. I did, I thought he ran – did he play point? Two guard. He played the two? Yeah, like me. We played the same position. He, could, he, he broke his hand his senior year, so he missed some games. But when he came back, he, we played East his first game back. He had maybe close to 20 points, all threes. <laughs> all threes, like, like like I say, man, we we were city champions with all those guys, man. We, it was, our team that year, Terrence Robinson, big shout out to him. T. T. Rob, Rob, one of the best, best dunkers, dunkers, one of city the best series, uh, one of the best dunkers, city man. series ever. He could flip it up behind his head and dunk it back. He could do anything with a ball. So big shout out to him. But that those guys were all, we were all on the same. Our practices was so competitive that, that we, 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 we would be fighting we, because oh, it was so competitive. Okay, and we're going to get to it because I always ask the greats, how was the practice in there? So this is what I want to ask you because, well, this is what I, I got a story real quick because I have stories I've been around. Summer League at Kenmore, I think it was T-Rob's uh, senior year, and we played in the old gym at Kenmore. Okay. And he put on a dunk. It was a dunk contest in the game. Top 10 dunker in City Series history, excluding nobody, period. Excluding no one. Top 10. I'll put him up against anyone. He won all the contests his senior year. You know what? He came to the king of the court, and he dunked in it, but nobody knew who he was because – he had the beer and everything. Yeah, the and Jesus he, beer. Yeah, he looked at just he looked yeah. at. He looked I don't at, think he ever won that one, but no, he, he looked won at the high school one. Right. He, he was probably out of shape then. Yeah, but he was in running shoes. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. didn't even That's have him. hoop shoes. He was yeah, in running, running shoes, shoes Jones. That's him. <laughs> and I'm looking at him. So. Man, I know him. <laughs> and I think JB said, "That's T. Rob." Could have been JB, and I said that is him. And he could have been, but he could have won that. Yeah. Yeah, top ten of all time dunkers, excluding no one. Now practice in them practices at Garfield. No, oh, man, man, man. Uh, most memorable practice that you that you never like you were, you gonna tell T Park Junior. Uh, I could tell him that the most memorable that class that ninety uh, three ninety four class the championship class. Our practices were so intense. Coach Larry used to have to stop him and throw, throw us out the gym because we, we would get to fight because we're going at one another. We had the TV news there and everything. They would come watch us. You had to get them out of the gym because the practices were so intense. We were going at each other. The best practices that I ever had. The practices made me made my game what it is what it was back then. That is because I we wouldn't know this stuff. I mean, you got Tony Williams. Uh, you got Jesse Dixon, you got Aaron Ashburn, you got Joe Ashburn, you got Jermon O, you got Tion Wilson. Uh, uh, man, you got Curtis Williams, all those guys, man. And and you you going at it, man. You're going at it. In, intensity, man. I it, wanna, it, 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 it was it was un, unbelievable. I wanna, unbelievable. I want to ask you this, because I, I, I have to ask you. When did – Coach Illyria, if that if I'm saying his name right, Coach Illyria, yeah. when did he hand the reins over to Aaron? Aaron, here you go, man. It's yours. Oh, as a freshman, we both he handed them over. Our backcourt, uh, 
uh, as a freshman, we came in. Aaron actually moved up to varsity before I did, and then I came in a few games later. But the East game, Deuce started, and that was my first game dressing varsity. I got in at the end, and, and Deuce put on like 18 points, man, at East. And uh, that's how that's how I started it. And I, then I started the very next game at Elliott. We were both out there together. Me and Aaron's uh, freshman year, we played more quarters than any freshman in the state of Ohio. You heard it here. <laughs> Speak on it. Yeah, we played freshman, JV, and varsity. Starters. <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's crazy. But that's you- how much. That's how much we love basketball. Yes, I mean he loves it now. Um, we often joke when we go and play cars, and he dealing. Don't talk about basketball because he gonna slow the game up. <laughs> right, that's the he gonna slow the game up because he loves it so much. And and it, it is what it is, man. And I can't help it because we talk about who. That's what we talking about, man. That's what we talking about. So, uh, I mean, I'm 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 wild. Um, just looking at this list right here, because it's a lot of people on here, and we're going to get to Dave Miller. And I named the list off to you. Is it anyone that you feel other than, uh, 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 not Jesse, Curtis, that you feel that's not a Ram, per se, that we didn't mention or that you're not hearing? Take in consideration that we haven't said nobody really. You are the first in that particular era, and I told you how I wanted to go, do it, do it. how I wanted to do sure, it, sure. and we're going to get it. Cause other than that, everybody else is pretty much shoe ins Is there anyone that you would like to mention that maybe should get a look at, even to be mentionable? Man, definitely Curtis Williams. He definitely got to be on the list, man. He, man he, for his junior and senior year, he averaged 20 and 10 at six foot, playing against Osby. Uh, Cameron Mack, Quentin Brooks, Danny, I mean, Danny Williams, all those guys he played against, Elmer Brown, and he, he every time he he carried us on his shoulders for 93-94, we won the city championship. He was the MVP of the championship game. I'm sorry, uh, Kurt. He's, 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 he's got to be on there. I'm sorry. Curtis, <laughs> Curtis Williams, top 100 mentionable. We gonna, he's he's got to be. And, 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 and you know what? The only reason why. The beast. I mean, and I, I, oh my God, my is. dude is in the building. There he is. I love what him to death. There hey, he is. Man, listen. There he is, the, 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 the one and only. The one and only. What's up, one. Big Cuz? What's up, Big Cuz? <laughs> oh, man. man, much love, baby. What up, baby? Good seeing you, man. Good seeing you, too. This is what the bank show brings. We got my man, Robert Putnam. Putty. Putty Banks, Putty Balls. Putty Banks, Putty Balls, Putty Edibles. Putty Hustles. <laughs> Putty Hustle, everything. Uh, and he just entered the building, and we're going to have a good time, man. Right now, we got my guy, and I'm so sorry. Like, that's one thing about what another example I'm going to show on the show is how to be of course, I try to be humble as much as I can, because of course nobody likes eating humble pie. But I, I, I eat it every day. You gotta eat it every day. Eat it every day. Eat it every day. Eat it every day. That's what makes and you. That's, that's right. What, right. It makes you. It make it, it develops character. Yeah, that's right. Yes, we we about to go to a meet. We about to go to a, a break, <laughs> man. Because we got my man here, man, and he here is royalty, and we got other people coming in. I'm trying to get into. Okay, I'm gonna put it out there. I'm going to put it out there. I've been talking to the unicorns and uh, actually the Tarvers. Oh, I've seen that unicorn. you yeah. seen I, I have both of them. Mm-hmm. When did you have there? Oh, I missed you. They was there together. So, But what we're going to do is we're going to keep switching from back and forth, back and forth, because I don't know if y'all going to see this or not, but that's what we're going to do, man. That's what we're going to do. And um, we got to get some things going. You got a little time? Yeah, he's chilling. He's just chilling, man. Talking basketball. Talking basketball. Y'all don't get to do this much. I ran into eyes yesterday. You ran into eyes. We we tried to have eyes, man. Eyes on. I don't know. I told you, I invited him over. I invited him too. Yeah. Hey, and what's crazy is my man Will Gwynn, who I love him to death, knowledgeable, and he hates this part. We're going to break. We got T Park.